What's going on, guys? Welcome to some standard, some standard matches, some standard matches, some standard videos. I don't even know. It's a video, right? It's one video. Anyway, we're gonna play a deck that was uh, <clears throat> submitted by Matthew Ori, longtime stream supporter, uh, good all around good, good dude, and uh, it's uh, some mono white knights. <clears throat> we got three Johnnies, three Valiant Knights, two Shalais, two Castouts, two Lyras. Lyra, not an Angel Knight, surprisingly. She's dressed like a knight. Uh, four histories, four banalish marshals, four knight of grace, four dauntless bodyguard, three baffling ends, and two metallic mimics. Walking Bliss is probably the card I am most suspect about, but I do like the Ajani and the Shalai uh, interactions with Aj with Walking Ballista, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This deck looks pretty sweet. I'm excited to play it. So. We're probably going to go undefeated because it looks great. And uh, it, this looks like the kind of deck that you just win with. <clears throat> People are just like trying to dirtle and do weird stuff. And you're just like, I'll just keep playing efficient guys and guys that pump my guys. <clears throat> she's a dawn bringer. Yeah, she brings the dawn. So she literally is a knight. She's the knight. What's up, pilot eater? That's a weird, that's a weird name. Pilot eater. Are you an, a, a pilot that eats or do you eat pilots? These are the questions we ask ourselves. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what's going on. 20 play pointerinos. Close these graveyards. Just randomly, we'll just randomly open these graveyards. Dim Shadow, thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Don't be afraid to use Nautilus Bodyguard early and bring him back with the Johnny. Oh yeah, no, I have no, I have no issues with playing that guy early. Please, I'm never not going to play a Dauntless Bodyguard on turn one just because we don't have a creature out. <clears throat> Music Manly, welcome back, buddy. Thank you for the resub. Freedom Cobra, thank you for the resub. <coughs> Train's rolling. Train's pulling out of the station. Or pulling into the station? How would it work? Well, <clears throat> this hand is rough because of the lands, but I think I think it's I think it's serviceable. Hmm. I will keep. <clears throat> If there's a planes on top, this hand becomes very, very good. There was not. If there's a planes on top, this hand still becomes very, very good. Then we can go turn two mimic into knight. Bam, ba -dam, ba -dam, ba -dam, ba -dam. All right. Well, if there's a planes on top, this hand still becomes very good. Look at all these moments. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at all these moments where the hand becomes very good. It's unbelievable. A knight to remember. Wow. See? I knew there was a planes on top. We're not going to play Banalish Marshal. We're probably just going to play Metallic Mimic. I guess we could play Marshal and then the next turn we can become Mimic and Knight. <clears throat> but I like Mimic here because I'd rather the Mimic get killed by the Abrade. Shapeshifter was an option. Oh, because it's a shapeshifter. I was like, why is shapeshifter an option? That's weird. We could also name human, I guess. Human, 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 cumin. As foretold. Oh, this is exciting. I'm excited. Yeah, the green splash is for Shalai activation and Life Crafter's bestiary activation out of the sideboard. Both solid additions. Alright, well, we had a good run. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
We didn't have lethal on board, but we would have if we got a Johnny. If we have, if we hit a land, we would have had lethal. Oh, that's not a land we would have been lethal with. All right. Well, <clears throat> I don't know what they're playing. I'm gonna take out the baffling ends, assuming there's few creatures. I'll bring in Forsake the Worldly. There are four Forsakes in the sideboard. That is a good amount, my friend. Take out the Walking Ballistas. Bring another Forsake and a Life Crafter's Bestiary. And I'll probably just bring in Nixalon's Binding. I have nothing clever or funny to say by name because I'm so hungover right now, but yes, I eat pilots. Wow, alright. Oh, the pilots of magic decks. That's clever. Well, look at that. Well, isn't that clever? Uh, you cannot spyglass on as foretold. It is not an activated ability. This hand is no... How many lands are in our deck? Just, just to check. 24. All right. So, not a... All right. This seems fine. I will keep. Bottom you. Uh, I'm actually going to keep that because we might just want to cycle that at some point. Alright, well, we're going to start with this gentleman, as usual. This deck preys on slow dirtle decks, roll control decks can be hard for, but it's okay versus red and black. Oh, the good to know, good to know. I will essence scatter, oh, sensor, wow. 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 I always forget to turn the desktop audio back on. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Alrighty then. Do I want to walk into another sensor or do I want to actually try to just play this guy? I want to assume you don't have two sensors. That seems like it'd be super lucky, right? Super lucky. Okay. Well, there's no playing around that guy. I guess we could have played Knight of Grace. Who is the WoW guy? I don't know. Just some internet guy. Wally, Wally Eddie, I think his name is. I don't know. It's just an old-timey meme. Old-timey meme. Oh, that's an Ajonals. We're going to put a Johnny to two because I don't foresee him getting wrecked. <coughs> So they get one counter on the as foretold. Let's see what happens when I play this guy. This is a lot of scattered growth, so I'm probably going to play one and cycle. Cycle one. Because those are the only things I can do this turn. <clears throat> wow. That's the rudest thing ever. Actually, might as well leave it up. <clears throat> a Johnny can bring back Mimic, but he can also crew Heart of Kieran. Heart of Kieran seems pretty good. Hmm. 
My god. This is like the rudest opponent I've ever experienced. Don't be a land. Knight of Will and Grace. Hmm. This guy. Um. <clears throat> so we should have got the Metallic Mimic back first if that's what we we're going to do. I think we might just want the Knight of Grace. I guess they can both be abraded either way. Disallow the activation. Yeah, that's funny. I guess we have Dauntless Bodyguard, so we can actually cycle the Scattered Grove in the main phase. They have to run out of counters eventually, right? No, I guess not. What if this Knight of Grace just does the... Just goes the distance? Yeah, they can cast counters for you, but they still have to have them in their hand. It's X or less, right? Yeah. <laughs> that seems pretty good. Oh, that's pretty nice. As for told is probably one of my favorite cards from uh, Excellent from Amonkhet. <clears throat> I actually picked up four just in case they're good in modern. Like I played some modern decks with them, and they weren't terrible. You gonna counter this too? Yep, everything gets countered. Draw two, discard one, okay. I have no incentive not to play the Chef at Dunes. Making my way downtown, walking fan, losing me. Oh, another knight. <clears throat> Must be knights, as they say. It's a creature with mana cost two or less. Yeah, we'll just play this guy. So what is this? Five, six, seven, eight. I guess we'll sack a desert. Oh, this guy just came into play. I forgot about that for some reason. I just saw the numbers. I was like, oh, 10 damage. That'll do. That'll kill him. Whatever. There are four. Both of these guys are lethal. I'm not too worried about it. Never had such trouble with land. Well, I mean, then then you're then that's pretty good. If you've never had that much trouble with land ever, then I think you're in good shape. Thank you. Pilot Eater, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, I don't think there's any changes I'd make right now. <clears throat> I'm wondering how good Baffling End is, but.
we'll see. Denmark, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. Making my way down. To Why do I have this? Uh, who sings this song, actually? Both of my watches died last night because they were not wound enough, so. I really need some. I really need an automatic watch winder. Oh, I'll keep this hand. Was seal away, but sucks when people don't attack. Yeah. But maybe you just don't need. Maybe you just don't need them. Wow. Yeah, I like I like that in chat people say Michelle Branch, Alicia Keys, and Natalie Imbruglia. It's like you guys are just basically just naming the female artists that you guys know. And maybe you get it right. Of course, that doesn't help someone who's looking for factual answers, but, you know. What can you do? Let me get that history of Benalia. That would be gas. Oh, heart of, heart of Kyran. Oh, Bjork is a good one. Okay, uh, another planeswalker that we already have access to. That's also reasonable. <clears throat> I'm probably just gonna play Walking Ballista here for one because a Johnny next turn puts it on Dose. However, a Johnny next turn also dies to this heart of Kieran, which is pretty obnoxious. That's another thing I don't like is that uh, Baffling End does not hit heart of Kieran. I guess we could play Valiant Knight. This is not a knight construct, unfortunately. Dang. So Johnny would go to five. He could survive. We get at least two activations before we have to find an answer to this Heart of Kieran. Theoretically. Scrapperino. Other than having black hair, those two people do not look the same. This is the Vanessa Carlton, Michelle Branch evidence. I'm like, eh, no, these do not look like the same person at all, except for the fact that they both have long black hair. And they're wearing white. If this was like a different color, if either one of these had different color tops, it'd be totally, no. I'm making my way down, down, walking down. Same I do, escape do, 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 do. Miss Vixen, I feel like you may be wrong here. I feel like this is incorrect. They're at 13. I'm okay with just passing here. Ha! 
I thought we drafted two. Of, yeah, we drafted two of Johnny's and a Walking Ballista, and and a Valiant Knight. It's a very good deck. Our deck is very very good. Josh, have you sent me a deck for July? I don't remember seeing one. I don't know if I've done it yet. I sent you a message on Discord, but you didn't get it. I don't know how frequently you check your Discord messages. Old Scrapperino. All right. Well, we're probably gonna kill this guy just so we don't lose our Johnny. Oh, it's a little elf. The little elf that could. A Johnny. And a Johnny. So do you have the blossoming defense? Oh, commander deck. Actually, if it's a 1v1 commander deck, I would do that. That sounds fun. Um, <sighs> so if we play another Johnny, put two more counters on guys, shoot the elf. Attack for three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. This heart of Kieran is a real problem. When I wake up, when I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who I'm next to you. It's actually surprisingly difficult to decide. I think we can let this go. Getting another activation out of a Johnny is pretty good. I mean, if they have Blossoming Defense, it's just a blowout. Yep, it's just a blowout, of course. Nights, four days. They don't never have it. You're right. You're speaking truths. That's really weird that you just named the Plimsolls. So here's a, here's a funny here's a funny story. Last night I was thinking of the song that's like. Um, the lyrics are a million miles away, right? It's the moon song. And, uh, it was from the movie. I think it's from the movie Her. It was, uh, what's her name from the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs? I can't think of her name. Karen O. Um, she wrote the song. And so I was trying to figure out what the song was. I'm like, what is that song? I can't think of the name. I don't know enough of the words to, to know what it is. And... I couldn't think about I couldn't remember the name of the song, so I just Googled a million miles away. Because that was obviously the, the prominent part of the lyrics. And it came like the Plimsolls, a million miles away, was like the first thing that came up. And I was like, well, this is definitely not the song. But it was weird because that's literally the first time I've ever heard of the Plimsolls. And uh Kind of surprising that it just got brought up in this chat. So if they crew here.
They're also at nine. I think it is because of the universe is simulation. It's very weird, dude. I've never actually... Once you discover something, you begin to see it everywhere. Um, yeah, but I've never heard of the Plim Souls before in my life. I've never heard of this band. In my life. Also, a million miles away. I don't think if I didn't... Like... I literally Googled that last night. I Googled the literal, the literal phrase a million miles away. And now it's mentioned in the chat today. That's weird, man. I think... I think... I don't know. That makes me weird. It's it's that's really weird. So double strike is yeah, this is fine. So you take three. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you have blossoming defense, we lose. We do have to get rid of the heart of Kieran, though. Don't they just go block and... So if they crew here, we take three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, yeah, let's get rid of this guy. So we take crew here, they take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, Virgil's Gear Hulk? Oh, just a Vine Mare. Alright. Not a thing I care about a ton. Crew that Heart of Kieran attack for four? Maybe five? Huh. This Heart of Kieran is mostly the. I think we're actually bringing in all four for all four forsakes. Four forsakes. Where are the baffling ends now? Well, they have to block both. And then we're dead. I think we are dead. Yep. Well, I feel like our we had a really good opening this game, but apparently not. Yeah, like I just don't think Walking Ballista is that great. I'm gonna bring in a Forsake. I'm not in love with Cast Down. I'd rather just have Forsake. Forsake. I kind of like Settle here as well. Probably over Ballista.
this hand seems pretty good. <laughs> Typing ASMR. Fantastic. It's mono white, not mono night. Ha ha ha! It's actually pretty good. I'm a big fan. Oh, that's actually perfect. That's beautiful. Hmm. It's just the right moment, too. Wow, Scrap Peeps Cruncher and a Heart of Kieran in the same turn. Moment of truth. Yep. It might be worth settling. I'm pretty sure it's worth settling this guy. One for one is fine. And they may have more, so. I'm not gonna risk it. What? Why did I just... That was weird. Yep. <sighs> never fails. I mean, they're never gonna play that before, uh... Like, that's just going to be in their hands until we get rid of the other one anyway, so it's just... There's no situation where we're like, well, we'll go rid of this. Thorn Lieutenant. Okay. Well, they are playing more creatures than we are. It's not bad. I think my least favorite interaction in standard is these two. It's just such a good combination. Like, 3 2 for 2, and then it just automatically crews Heart of Karen.
vomit. Wow. Okay. Well, this is not this is not good. I guess we're taking seven here. Ronus online. I don't know how we beat an active Ronus here. Cycle you. Yeah. I think we're dead. Like this combination plus this guy and like all the cards are just too hard to deal with. I don't like I don't understand this modern like creature design strategy like There's literally nothing we can do here. And we have two settles in the deck. Like, we're still going to have to take a, a huge hit next turn and throw all our guys away. And, like, settle doesn't do anything here. Like, what's even, a, what's even our option next turn? If we forsake something... Like, it's either this or this, right? Like, it's probably this guy because then it forces you to crew with something else. And then what? You can still attack with everything. You can crew with these two. Attack me with four, five, five. So we have to block something. We're not trading with anything. I guess we can double block here. And then, like, we're basically dead to Heart of Kieran at some point anyway. And if you don't have to crew, then you just get to pump this guy. Are there any other one mana? I'm gonna look up Knights and Standard. Knight in Standard. Make sure we got the good ones. What did we seal away? Uh, Bronto Don. Oh, all right. Well, that's interesting. Oh, are they sacking? Seven? That's pretty brutal. Okay. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Yep. Well, it's not lethal. Well, I guess they can pump this, so it is lethal. We have to actually block here. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. One three lifelink Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. <laughs> Good times. Why didn't you play Forsake on the heart after he crewed it? Be because I think that Scrap Heap Scrounger was a bigger threat. I mean, that's obviously why I did it, right? Like, because I preferred one play over another. I mean, because in that situation, they, they tap Scrap Heap Scrounger, they crew the heart. We kill the heart. They, they're still attacking with both of these guys. They still have uh, Hap Ship Oasis on either one. Or in that situation, they can just keep Thorn Lieutenant up and attack with Thorn Lieutenant as well and pump it. It's like, I mean, it doesn't put us in any better position. Yeah, like, we're, so, we're just dead to everything here. I would love, like, we could play Shalai, and Shalai would be a 4 5, which is able to block here, and we can block here, but then we still, like, we have to block so many things. All right. Yeah, that's rough. I kind of like one Danatha in the deck, just over, like, maybe one Baffling End. I don't like Baffling End that doesn't hit, uh, Heart of Kieran. I don't like that, but what can you do? I also don't know if I like Walking Ballista better than just another Lyra. Nope, that's not what we're doing. Like, I feel like Lyra is such a great late game threat like it's really hard to deal with it gets you back in the game I'd probably cut a ballista for another Lyra like we haven't drawn Lyra yet and I think she's actually pretty crucial like I think we're just trying to be cute I think we're trying to be too cute with the um the Aether Sphere Harvesters. Or not the Aether Sphere, the, the, the Walking Ballistas. I'm going to get Harvesters now because I think we might use them. Close these other matches that stay up forever. I'm looking at knights right now to see if there's anything. Is there a reason not to run Resplendent Angel? I don't think so. That card's great. I mean, the only reason I could think of is that we just have a lot of three drops, but... But Lyra does help that. Are we just making knights and angels? Are we just changing the deck around? I mean, she's not a knight, right? Like, that's a big deal. Resplendent was amazing. Yeah, it's a good card. <coughs> I obviously don't have any of those. I don't know why that's obvious, but... I would also like it if our three... Um, our three drops... She's a knight on the inside. Yeah, that's fair. I um I, I would like it if our three drops were more represented than our four drops. One making my way down. 
Oh, Reese of Good Times, buddy. Thank you so much. Let's look up Resplen. Uh, I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to dump like a hundred bucks in tickets just to pick up all these cards. I really don't like borrowing everything I use. I like having a collection so that I can easily swap cards out, and I, I like having things that, that are gonna be playable for a while in standard. So, also known as bus fare bucks, one bus fare buck. All right. Also, going turn three Angel into turn four Valiant into a, a Johnny putting a counter on her is pretty good. What is this? Iron Chef Sammy. Nice. It's your boy, Iron Chef Sammy. What's going on here? Iron Chef Sammy, is this an angel for me, bro? Are you going to angel me up? Also, I have not seen you in the chat yet, so that's pretty funny that you're just like sitting watching and being like, hey, I got you this angel. Am I, am I taking this? I'll take it. I'm going to submit. Send me an angel. Oh, right now. Take whatever. <laughs> oh, Look at all these planes you have. I've never even seen these before. Is this even a thing you can do? Oh. Oh, there was more up. I didn't even know. Oh, I don't even know what's going on. I'll look at these guys. I'll see if I need anything here. Wow, Sam, you got a bunch of stuff, buddy. Ooh. Oh, I'll take these two. Sweet. Yeah, Sammy actually messaged me and he's like, hey, I'm done with this league. You can actually have all these mythics that I have. And I was like, really? I like this card. Um, Yeah, that's that's awesome. This is helpful. This is good stuff. You are a kind soul. And, uh, I guess I'll take this guy too. This guy's playable. Also, just to be clear, I don't actually sell any of, this, any of the stuff you guys give me. I just use it to buy. If I do, I just get other stuff and I, um, I just play with it, so. Sammy, thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. That's a good amount of Sammy bucks. That's like 20 Sammy bucks. If they're called that, what if any? What if everyone's money was just named after them? Uh, I guess we can take the Danitha out. And now we need one cut for three Resplendent Angels. Oh no, we get one more Angel. Yeah, I want three in here. I don't like Walking Bliss. So I'm gonna cut that dude. Sammy, I heart you too, buddy. You are good people. Someone on someone on YouTube is like. I will subscribe yours. Please subscribe mine. And I'm just like... I mean, if you want to subscribe to my channel because you like the content, 100% do that. If you don't want to subscribe because you don't like the content, 100% don't do that. But I've reached a point in my life where I don't just subscribe because, like, for mutual subscribes. Because, like... Life's too short, man. Like, there's things I like in life... And I want to make sure I see those things more than things I don't really care for. Not to say those things are bad, they're just not for me, right? So if you have a sports channel, I'm not going to go, like, sub for sub, because, like, there's no point to that. Like, your stuff will come up in my feed, and I'm just not interested in it, that's all. And similarly, I don't want you to subscribe back to me just because I subscribe to you. That doesn't make sense. Subscribe to me if you like the content. That's all I want. And I'll do the same for you. It's pronounced Barbobbly Boo Bugs. Why not Barbobbly Bucks? That seems better, right? Would renamed myself to sweat. <laughs> oh, one sweaty beaver buck. Fantastic. Oh. I'll sub to your YouTube channel if you buy me a sub sandwich. Um, how long, how long does, does your subscription last? If you sub to me for like a while, if you have, a, if you have a, a, a plan to renew, I'd do that. But on the, on, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the term? 
Like when things are on, on balance, on balance, you are getting a much better deal if I buy you a sub sandwich for a, for a YouTube sub. Actually, I don't get any revenue for YouTube subs specifically. That's that's a terrible deal for me. Making my way downtown. I would appreciate it if you not give away my YouTube account growing secrets. Boy, this standard queue is taking a while to fire, which is kind of funny. Because it's standard. That's like that's like America's favorite format. It's America's favorite format. Can we have a stream where Frank just makes sandwiches? Probably. That would be cool. I could do a sandwich making stream. Ain't YouTube paying for 100k subs? What? Uh, maybe, but I don't have 100k subs yet, so I, c I could not say. If you guys want to help me get there, you can head on over to YouTube and, and click that sub button. Slam that like and subscribe button. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, I, I assume you probably already subscribed. I don't know what's going on. I just want to... I just want to match this match to start. Every second that this, this delay drags on, the YouTube video gets worse, and there's more people just leaving right now because they're like, I can't deal with this delay. He's just talking about sub sandwiches, and I want to just watch some magic. I slammed the button too hard and broke my mouse. Well, that's on you, buddy. You need to know your own strength. What if every time you click the sub button on YouTube, they bought you a sub sandwich? I'd be okay with that. Because uh, th that's a good way to supplement my income. I get to eat free sub sandwiches from YouTube. Someone else sent me a sub sandwich and I subbed to Frank to help towards goal. I think this is a good arrangement. America's Funniest People. You guys remember that? Remember that show? America's Funniest People? I have not had a Carnegie Deli sandwich. I have had Katz's Deli multiple times. Katz's is fantastic. I can't say I've ever been to the Carnegie Deli though. Zwabber, thank you so much for, for catching me live. Really appreciate it. Unfortunately, we don't get to play Magic here because no one wants to jump in the standard queue. I guess they're too intimidated. Can anyone watching right now just jump in the standard queue with me? That seems like it'd be sweet. Why don't you guys do that? What are you guys, babies? You guys aren't babies, are you? Oh, it's Lord Sir William. We're playing knights and we're playing against an actual lord. This can't go well. I think this hand is keepable. I don't think it's great, but the fact that we can cycle on turn two and we added a bunch of three drops. Kitty cats every day. Ordinarily, I would just play the, uh, the scattered grove to make sure we hit our land drops. We already had three lands, four lands in hand. So, <sighs> this goddamn deck, unbelievable. We're angel, sure. Well, I guess we got to take a hit. Jesus, this deck has actually become more oppressive than the chain roller decks. I think. I think all of these triple mana cost guys were bad ideas. I think Steel Leaf Champion was a bad idea. This st These stats are just too good. Just too good. Uh, Chain Roller was a bad idea. Tempest Jin has also caused me some headaches. Uh, I think the only safe ones are probably Banalish Marshall and Dread... Dready McDredderson, just because those guys aren't super oppressive. Key to the city. Okay, well, I'm just going to get rid of this guy. Take a hit? Is this one of those stream? <laughs> Guess we're just gonna take a hit, if you know what I mean. Well, we're definitely playing this because you got a bunch of shit burgers out. So put them in the garbage can. I'm not even gonna wait just in case they have blossoming defense. I don't want to get no blossoming defense out here. Dreadshade is nuts in mono black, but thankfully mono black itself is not fantastic. That's just a completely fair deck, which is why you don't actually see it.
Oh, that's cool. That's a card I don't have a thing for, and you also have a key to the city. Well, we're having a good time. Okay, so it turns out the Knight's deck is not great against this deck. Hey, Rick, working on a model like zombies need help with sideboard or land count. Do you offer coaching in the show? Um, Bachfrog, check out my Twitch profile. I do have information on deck critiquing. Actually, in the shop. Bachfrog, who are you? Do I know you? Do I know your name? Once you said in the shop, I was like, do I know you? Do I know who this is? Oh, I see. A cartouche of strength. A cartouche, if you will. Hmm. Well, Vine Mare is a hell of a card. Bachfrog, check out my Twitch profile and, and send me a message. I don't know if we can... <laughs> that was a bad card touch. You're right. It's uh, from the French. It's uh, Cartouche. Wouldn't that be Italian? I guess that's from the Italian. I don't know what to do here. I guess we can just play two guys. This thing is going to actually murder us. Especially in conjunction with this. Woo, boy. Woo, Vine Mare. That's a hell of a drug. There's nothing we can do here, right? Like, I just want to be clear that there's nothing we can do. Which is why I want to bring in card. Like, this is why I want more Lyra's, because it's just a card we can actually, you know, feebly attempt to race them with. Spider Man costs three or less. This does take out Steel Leaf Champion, which is nice. I want to take out one Valiant Knight and one a Johnny and bring in two Settle the Wreckages. I don't think we want Forsake, but good lord, I think we're just th these stupid Vine Mares and Steel Leaf Champions, man. Bring in Forsake for the key feels so bad, because key doesn't actually do anything by itself. Like, if they're attacking us for five with Steel Leaf Champion, and then we take a turn off to, to Forsake their key, like, they're just going to get in again with Steel Leaf Champion, right? How's it going? <laughs> America's money. Oh, there's a speaking of which, there's a new art assignment video that just came out. It's called The Case for Conceptual Art. So if you guys are not following the art assignment on YouTube, you should definitely do that. It's really good. And it'll give, it'll give you an appreciation for art that you might not have otherwise had. Um, I want to bring it up for sake, but I don't like it, dude. What do you think of Hexproof as a mechanic? Because it is 10, 10 my feet least hurt. Yeah, it's just, it's really annoying. Um, I don't think it should be abolished. I think it, I think it has its uses. Like when you have it on the four five, see, like that's I was gonna say the four five turtle from um, from Dominaria that's only seen in limited, but the problem is that guy's really good in limited, especially with like an on Sarah's wings. Um, oh, this is nice. All right, now we're doing it. We're going to make it happen. Yeah, I think by and large, uh, Hexproof is a pretty miserable mechanic. Like, Magic is a game of interactivity, right? Where you're, the decisions you make regarding what you have, uh, you know, end up defining, they, they end up deciding a game, right? Like, if you have a history of Manali, do I kill that? Do I spend my resources killing the knights instead? What do I do? And Hexproof kind of removes those decisions. So, I don't know. Bachfrog, there should be my email address in um, in the Twitch profile. Just send me an email there. Uh, we're going to name Knight, even though we have no Knights. This is the actual rank, right? 
Oh boy. One car kitten buck, don't spend it all in one place. What is what's a car kitten? What did I miss? Oh, every every game with this guy. Every game with this guy. Do they ever not have it? Nay. I mean I think we're actually okay here. Next time we can go Banalish Marshall, which is like makes real big nights. What's a car kitten? What did I miss? Frank bits because they are yours now. <laughs> One car do oh car douche but what is oh car cartouche. I get it. This is all ver This is their blossoming defense mana, just to be clear. Yep. Make another night. M M M Marshall and the Jets. <laughs> also, this seventh edition. I said the 7th edition armor. Come on, Sir William. Are you even a real lord? Probably not. This is where they go Lanowar off block here. Blossoming defense, I guess. I'm really considering getting a copy of every Marshall and MTG and asking Marshall. So I'll have to... um, well, the thing is, Marshall, the, the word Marshall has one L in it. Marshall has two L, so it's basically not the same. I do what I want. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly. All right, that's fine. That's just fine. If you don't have any before us, then I'm not even worried. What am I worried about? All right, this is fine. This is all fine. Come at me, bro. Oh, no come at me, bros. Ooh, what a pretty lady. Who's that lady? I kind of want to just pump these guys to sevens because then. But I also kind of want to just play Lyra. I feel like we're just throwing a guy away if we do that, though. Alternatively, they can just go block, block, right? Take seven. I guess we could double block here if they do that. And if we attack with the Mimic, even if we pump, it's, they're still going to go block, block, block. Take seven again. We lose this guy. 200 my first competitive high MTG at 3.030 bucks. Nice! Congrats, Cyberdrac. Because I watched you and learn ma weird magical things. That's all I could ever ask for. I think this is actually where we want. I don't want to waste this stupid thing, though, right? Would you like to sacrifice this to itself? No, but I will. Boom, ba -ba boom, ba -ba boom, ba -ba boom, boom, boom. I feel like this is probably better. 
I learned that Mama's in the kitchen with onions. Oh boy, what have I done? What has Water Sports Drew done is the question here. Oh, that was a good trade. That's a that's a twofer, as the kids say. Do they say that? Nobody knows. Oh, Lord. Oh, dear God. This deck is absurd. All right, well, this is lethal with the Chefette Dunes. I don't think we want to attack here just to get three points through. Actually... They go block here, they take three, they go to three. The problem is if they have prodigious growth, we're just dead. And we've already seen Blanchwood Armor and Gigantosaur, so I'm sure they're going to go land a prodigious growth on this guy. Oh, they don't actually need a land, they have Druid of the Cowl. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank badness. This gives Trample too, doesn't it? Oh, for fudge. Oh, they can stop Lyra now, can't they? I mean, this is five damage, though. We can double block. Oh, God. We do gain five, right? They fight right now, thank goodness. Oh, my biscuits. Oh, boy. Oh, we had a good run. They can't attack here. There's no way they can attack here. They just wait. Lyra number two. Give me that Lyra. What? <laughs> Casual post-combat this guy. Oh, crying out loud. This guy has... Our opponent has no class. All right. Wow, I thought we were doing so well after that after that history of Benalia turn. I don't think Metallic Mimic is pulling its weight. I don't think there's enough knights. Oh, for fudge. <laughs> oh, for fudge, he says. That's going to be our record. Oh, for fudge. Oh, boy. Everybody's having a good time. Except for the guy not playing the green card. This is a knight. You know, night, you pizza shit. Started watching the Spirits video. Thank you again for being a good local old man. Also, I've since realized adding green to the list for a hierarchy code is way better, way more explosive. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. Are you just going to kill this four, five, six, eight, and ten? We can't actually kill you, so I guess we'll just let you take a Johnny down. Huh. I don't think we can survive. Hey, you're skinny. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate the support. As always. One Denmark buck. Actually, it's six... Six... Uh, six point four Danish crowns. Enjoy. I will. I will enjoy. Choose another creature you control. I'll choose this guy. So now, we're gonna block here. Chump block here. Take a million. Is there a card that, like, gives all your creatures flying? Or, like something unblockable my ears are not gar really really where's declaration and stone we need it right now I didn't forget that Alexander Hamilton did <laughs> the modern league, but what does that even mean? 
Ew, you're skinny. Thank you so much, buddy. Your support is always appreciated. You, you kind, kind soul. I like this. I love this buck meme. It's fantastic. It's probably one of my favorite things on stream. And literally not just because it's, you know, support and donations and whatnot. It's actually hilarious. I think it's a, I, I think it's a great way for you guys to express your creativity. You really want to, it's like flair. It's like the flair from Office Space, right? You really do, you know, we encourage you to express yourself. You want to express yourself, right? Well, I'm not going to block the trample, idiot. But I have to block somebody, I guess. Alright. You know what I'd like in the deck? Alina? Maybe Lena's good? Is, is she only... She only accounts for non-tokens, though, doesn't she? Yeah, she's not great. One, two, three, one, two, three, five, four, ten, ten, three, three. Huh. Any thoughts on Dusk Dawn? Not I don't have good thoughts on Dusk Dawn. Like like if you look at our graveyard, like the number of creatures we get back right now with the Dusk Dawn is literally one. I mean it could be fine to kill all these guys, but it would also kill all of our guys. So like Dusk Dawn, both modes of Dusk Dawn are actually terrible at this exact moment. Like our opponent would actually <clears throat> end up with two creatures on board one chicken buck 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 <laughs> oh thank you definitely not admiral Agbar. appreciate it also one creative buck man you guys are great you guys are fantastic yeah we're gonna concede here i don't foresee this match going i like the angel edition what cards aren't pulling their weight though like metallic mimic can go right i don't think this card's doing it i actually might want more baffling ends maybe one more baffling end because it doesn't hit bigger things i also don't like dauntless bodyguard i'm just gonna put all the angels in what good two drop knights are there three mana enchantment no i don't think it wants any more anthems that are that are creature specific i think we have to go more towards How do you deal with a 10-10, dude? I don't want to add black here, though, because I actually like the Shalai. I think Shalai is good. I think Settle in the main is probably fine. No one ever... No one's going to ever expect that. Luminous Bonds. <laughs> I think Luminous Bonds is probably one of the worst options. Like... I think arrest uh, Thopter arrest is better. I think um, I think there are several three mana ones. I mean, I like Desert Stronghold better for one. Desert uh, not not Stronghold, I guess. Uh, the white one, Desert's Hold. Like you gain three. Channing creature in a black. Like this is just strictly better than Luminous Bonds. Shalai might be kind of too cute. I don't know. I mean, it just stops a lot of things. It's a 3-4 flyer. Like, what's too cute about it, though? Like, it's a 3-4 flyer for 4 that has a lot of good... I mean, I do like Seal Away. If they're not attacking... Like, like Matthew, your, your response was... Or your reasoning was that if they're not attacking, Seal Away's bad. But if they're not attacking, like, you should be winning. I'm trying to put 4 Seal Aways. I think they're just better. I'm not going to activate her. Why, why wouldn't I activate her? <laughs> Tell me why I wouldn't do that. Can I tap the mana and do that? Uh, Drill Master is pretty, pretty bad, though. The problem with Drill Master is that I'm never going to play it on 2 for value. I'm just going to play it on 2 as a 2-1. This deck, I don't think this deck feels like it does want to go fast. I think it, oh, it feels like it wants to go fast, but it just doesn't. I think that's, I think that's true. I think the deck is trying to, like, that's what, that's why I like Shalai, though, because, like, you're not going as fast as you want to. 
I don't think you have a choice. Like, I don't think you don't really have to choose, though. You can just have both, you know? I think they're both good. I'm still relatively new matching in a sense of deck building for an Abzan list. I want a land war plus exploring Merfolk Duder curve, but also double white and double black dudes at four cost and up. Is there any actual solution for this? Should I just pick white or black? There's no real cut and dry solution for that. Um, it depends on the mana fixing in the format. It also depends on like just whether it works, you know? I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say. It's like, There's no real cut and dry answer for it though. Like sometimes you're able to make it work, but it depends on the, the lands that are also available to you. Like if there's enough that come into play untapped or that work with the the cards you want to be playing. Double, double colors at four is pretty rough, but it's not impossible. Ketra's Monument? Maybe that's a thing. I mean, I think two Settles is just fine, because Settles also going to be a dead card in certain matchups. I want to put Baffling End in the sideboard. I do like Baffling End against, like, the... Uh, how do you decide between... I think, I think Cast Out is better in the main deck, just because it's more versatile. You get to play it at, at, at instant speed. You also get to cycle it if you want to. Yeah, the whole purpose is for Shalai. And also, you get, you get a Life Crafter's best area in the sideboard, which is pretty nice. Um... I like Elvish Rejuvenator. That guy seems pretty good. I don't know if it's better than Jade Light Ranger, but... I might cut a Shalai. I could see cutting one Shalai. And then we get two spots. I kind of want more, more two drops, but I don't know what good two drops there are. I'm going to look up white two drops in standard. This is a, uh, a, a deck building excursion we're doing. Standard two creatures. Oh, there's 232 of them. Holy smokes. Okay. Oh, I didn't, I didn't select white. Okay, hold on. Okay, 40 of them. That's significantly better. So Johnny's Pride made any good? Why are you a cat soldier? We don't have any life gain, really. Like, Lyra is life gain, but... Three one cat, Iron Chef Sammy. Come on, that's terrible. That guy's terrible. I would rather, like the like the, just like Bishop Soldier, just a two two for two with Life Link. I don't think it's great though. What about Glory Bound Initiate? Glory Bound Initiate isn't Sammy isn't Glory Bound Initiate just strictly better than that guy? We just took out the Dauntless Bodyguards. We had four Dauntless Bodyguards, and they were not good. I like Glory about Initiate. The problem is the Danto Vanguard doesn't really do much with our deck. Like... Legion's landing any good? Actually, maybe Legion's landing could be good. Yeah, there's not a ton of great... Let's try Legion's landing. The problem with Legion's landing is, like, we're, how far away are we getting from the Knights... What's Sun Sentinel? What is that? That's <laughs> just a two two vigilant for two. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on that guy. TurboTax just sent me an email and they're like, 
Hey, an easier, now available, an easier way to manage your debt. <laughs> Jesus. Thanks. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, scrap heap. It doesn't just it doesn't do anything for us. It doesn't crew for us. We can't really get it back without messing with the mana base. Yeah, I'll be honest, the marshal isn't that great. I don't know, Matthew, do you have a real problem if we change it from knights? I think we can have a pretty sweet white deck. Alright, let's let's take a look at the the white deck that we can put together here. I do like Glorybound Initiate, especially well actually it doesn't trigger Mentor of the Meek, which is kind of awkward, right? Ooh, Legion's Landing is actually better now. Alright, so we're gonna play Legion's Landing. How many do you play? Four? Three? <laughs> we know about your financial situation. And we're here to help. Oh, I like splashing. I'm going to take out the Valiant Knights. I'll add the other Shalai back. Is it always four or zero? I don't know how... Oh, Ketro's Monument was the other thing, yeah. That... Is oh I like that they added the border on that white smells yeah let's do that that's pretty gas do we cut one angel now because we have mentor of the week maybe I actually like angel of sanctions a lot I'm gonna add one angel of sanctions to take out one shalai all right let's try this deck I think this I like this configuration a lot mentor of the meek yeah what are you saying he's already in there yeah that's why that's another reason why i don't want to take out a land though because oh my god we are out of play points oh god oh god it feels so bad good gravy Yeah, we can keep this hand. We'll play one Scatter Grove, and we'll probably cycle the other one. Undrem Tuna, what's going on? Now we're going to draw... Remember, we're gonna, were you guys ready for the turn two Legion's Landing? Oh, a Zalfir and Void. We didn't do it. We didn't draw the land, The landing. Get some message on TurboTax around and manage debt. Oh, man. Well, I guess I better buy some more Magic Online cards. I mean, to be fair, this is my income, so. Ooh. Ain't no party like a double Benalia party, because the double Benalia party don't stop. It actually doesn't stop because of all the sagas. You just keep going every single turn. I know you don't play much standard, and I don't know anything about what decks are in standard, but how does, like, a mono blue wizard down sound for some... Oh, that sounds pretty sweet. I wouldn't play mono blue wizards. I'd probably add red, because I think the red splash for, like, Adelie's and uh, the 2-2 the two -two for one mana makes it significantly stronger. Ewok, thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Huh. Uh, whenever you cast a creature spell, we can actually wait on that. We can go history. Two, 
two, two, two banalias in one. Actually, Frank, um, actually, Saga, hold on, I actually had my old glasses on the other day because I went for a, I went for a little walk and I like to put my old glasses on when I go for a walk so that they don't, so I was like, actually, uh, Sagas only have three separate triggers and after that they go to the graveyard, <laughs> so they do stop, actually. And, uh, that's, that's how things went. Look at all my knights. Must be knights. This is a bargain. This is a damn bargain. Our board is... I'm liking this Oketra's Monument Resplendent Angel change already. Did he just say one year was one... 16 months? I... Who's he? I don't know what that means. Well, that's not going to do it for you. Hope you got a Yehenny's expertise. I hope you don't. Oh god, you do. There's no reason you'd play this before Yehenny's expertise. Okay. Oh, walking ballista for one. More like resplendent chain changel? Why? Why is that? Why is it called that? How is it more like that? Explain life to me. One, two, three, four, five. This gets plus two plus two and gains life link. Hmm. Okay. We just want to wait. What's the point, right? <sighs> yeah, we're just going to get in there. Oh, never mind. I'm listening to another stream. What? <laughs> oh, Irish24. That's fantastic. I, he's like, I just was listening to you. Why are two on here, huh? What's happening right now? Four, eight. I don't understand the two on this guy. Uh, yes. Oh, you're just going to kill that guy. Sure. Yeah, that seems bad. I don't know. Oh, give me that angel, boy. It's a good looking. That's good. Some good looking art there. We won the game. Man, our changes are just OP. Uh, I want to take these seal aways out because I don't foresee them attacking with anything we care about. I'm going to bring in these. What's he doing with his hand right now? I don't know. Something weird. Some weird shit. Resplendent Angle does have a high activation cost. The, the, the good thing about Resplendent Angle's activation cost is that you just don't have to use it sometimes. You're just like, eh, I'll just play it. It's just a 3-3 flyer for three. <laughs> Everix, it's very nice that you tried to you tried to make a joke about the angle. Uh the, the angle mistype, and then you actually mistyped that that. That's pretty good. I'm a fan. Oh, this white bordered swamp? No, that ain't gonna do it.
I'm gonna cycle this. That's that's a good reason to do so. Where the hell where the hell were you last turn? So we can go history and history. Also, if we draw land, we can go Oketra's Monument into Knight of Grace, which is nice. And then if we draw another land, we can go history and angel in the same turn, which is pretty sweet. How badly did you consider putting a Johnny's Last Stand? And what is the Johnny's Last Stand? I actually don't even know what that card is. I don't even know what that card is. Oh, we did draw land. That's pretty good. So now we're just gonna go ham. Ham, swine, skillet. I don't know what that saying means. All these all the entrazi used to say it all the time. Whenever a creature or planeswalker control dies, you may sack it. If you do, create a four. four. Why does it cost four mana? Oh, I, I, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't consider that card at all. I think there are so many better cards than that one. Ugh. White border cards do look like empty. You're just like, this is weird. It looks like there's just a void of space around it. Like they forgot to fill in the, the, the background. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. Let's do it to it. Yeah, we have like very few small creatures, so. I'm just gonna play this Lyra here for a discount. And next time we can play Resplendent Angel and gain that life. They have one card in hand. Perfect fits. What's going on, buddy? <sighs> Commit to memory. Did we just draw new hands? Well, isn't that special? I guess we just play this. <laughs> yeah, you smash after your hands fall off. <laughs> oh, that's a classic. Send me an angel right now. It's very easy to get the uh, send me an angel song stuck in your head when you're playing the, the, the angel deck. The problem is with angel of sanctions here is that none of these parts are relevant to me. I don't want to actually kill any of them. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, their board is pretty impressive. Impressive. Oh, so we can actually go... Uh, shall I... And history this turn, which is pretty good. So next turn could be good, unless they have a sweeper. I don't know what their sweeper would be. They could also just win the game, I guess. Is 
Is there a white card that destroys all um, artifacts? Because I could really use that right now. Okay, a walking ballista for two. Not super frightening. But now you're going to play something else. Harold, yep. Harold! I will discard a... Probably a Catcher's Monument. I don't foresee never having an answer to that. Oh, that was a good draw. Create a knight. Buff him up. Buff him. Got that hexproof going for us. We could give a little pumpsies. So five, four, 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 four. Yeah, I think we're just attacking with everybody here. Uh, save Shalai, of course. All right, if they go, they go block the biggest guys. They take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, they're not going to die, so. We could Angel of Sanctions away the Herald, but um, I, I'll be fine just trading with it. Let's pump right now, because if we do it now, uh, she's immune to the Walking Ballista. Sure. Resolves. Now I have a 2-3. I mean, they can very likely kill her next turn, right? Sacrifice another artifact, put a counter on this guy, and shoot, shoot. But then, like, I mean, they're running out of things at that point. One, two, three, four. You got it. Yeah, that's the other reason we didn't want to just get rid of Harold, because they can just kill our Shalai in response. I guess they would lose their walking ballist if they did that, though. But our board's pretty good, and they're at nine, so... I'm gonna cross my fingers that... That we got a good enough situation going on here. Okay. You got it. Oh, man. You got it. You got it. You hath got it. Our board's pretty pretty good now, though. I'm not... Sure. We'll discard some Petal Grove, and then we can actually cast both of these next turn. And if we hit a land, it's just even better. Doom. Give me a kiss to build a dream of and my imagination. Oh, did I overpay? Sure did. Um, I mean, not necessarily, because they can actually kill the Angel of Sanctions in response. So, I mean, no. I don't think that's that cut and dry. They can also block the six. I mean, he might still win. I'm not sure. So... I think we're gonna actually kill this guy it's the same as killing a servo at this point because this guy can't actually kill anything in response so and now i think we probably do win uh yeah let's get rid of it <laughs> oh it didn't work okay so i can block three guys they now they take seven here they can block the two two and then block these down i guess they have to block the big guys
They have to block three of the big guys, otherwise they die. So. Yeah, now they go to two. Seems good. I'm drafting the red-green, red-black aggro sack deck. If I already have two Lich's Caress and a Murder, do I take the second Murder? I'm normal endurance. Uh, second Murder. 100% Murder. They are dead, right? They are dead. They hath died. You had forsake the worldly for the list and then play the angel. Yeah, right, but that still kills our guy. That's the same thing. Someone also commented on the YouTube video that I posted that where I played against Gabby yesterday and they were like, any chance of seeing Gabby sign? I'm like, I mean, yeah, if you check out her YouTube channel, I guess. I have not gotten a response to my Hungry Howies. Check it out. Let me show you the pictures that I took of this pizza. So yesterday we ordered a deep dish from Hungry Howies. First one, it came. The crust itself was like raw. This was the first crust I ordered. This is not cheese. This is crust. And I'm like, oh, that's gross. That is not okay. That is raw dough. So we send it. We don't send it back. Like, we're just calling. We're like, hey, the crust is raw. Can you bring us another pizza? They're like, yeah, sure. I'll be there in like 40 minutes. All right, sure. It sucks that I have to wait 40 minutes for dinner, but whatever. I'll wait. No big deal. So uh, dinner comes. Comes or comes, you know, it comes 40 minutes later, whatever, an hour later. It was a little bit longer than it said, but whatever. And um, so we go to eat this one. The next one's actually worse. Whereas this one was the the raw dough is restricted to the center of the pizza. This one, this is the very corner slice. This is dough. Again, not cheese. Actual dough. This is just pizza dough. That came from the edge. And this is also dough. It looks like cheese because it's so it's unbaked and white. So it's not like yellow and crispy and brown. It's just white pizza dough. It's just raw dough. So I was like, okay, cool. Two pizzas in a row with raw dough. Cool. So ordinarily, I would just be like, eh, it happens, mistakes happen. But like, once you have a specific issue that comes up, like if I went to a restaurant and I said, hey, there's a bug in my food, and then they send it back, the next meal that they serve me, they should probably make sure that there's no, specifically no bug in the next meal. You know what I mean? All right, we'll give this one more go. I feel like basically you just want to avoid this the exact problem that that the person had. So I feel like you probably put in a... We actually didn't get a refund yet. We didn't call back the second time because I was just like, I'm done. I don't want to actually... I don't want to, I don't want them to feel like they have to come out um, again at like 11 p.m. Because it was like 11 p.m. We ordered our first... We first ordered at 8.01. And then at like 11 p.m. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> 1300 rip howie bits on drum tuner thank you so much buddy you are awesome um yeah so i sent i for the first time i think ever in my life i sent an email to like the contact us form on hungry howies and i'm like hey are we sure our expectations are better? um no not i don't think we are because hungry howies is actually great pizza and uh additionally like what what kind of like what kind of name would you expect what what kind of name is um is acceptable to, for you to, to where the pizza would be fine right like what kind of pizza place what do you want their pizza place to be named like I don't even like I don't know I don't understand like the metric for like no I think having it cooked is is an average expectation for a pizza place and also I even mentioned in the email I'm like this is the first time I've ever had an issue with this this location so you know not a huge deal but the fact that it happened twice is a little frustrating Papa John's. Yeah. Yeah. I should really... I need to start wearing watches during the stream because they're all automatics so they don't wind themselves. Well, they do, but I have to be wearing them, so... Steve's Raw Dough and Pour Him. No, see, that's where I would expect... That's a worse pizza place name. That's where I would expect worse pizza.
in uh in the in certain states uh there's a place called papa murphy's where it's like take and bake where they like give you they make the pizza for you they give it to you and you cook it in your oven um and that's what it felt like i felt like i was like oh i didn't know i was getting papa murphy's here on the bright side i have a lot of extra pizza now and i had some for lunch And I just have to make sure I cook it, like in the oven, instead of microwaving it, because it actually has to be cooked. My dealer is called Papa Rubiano. <laughs> Gas. Absolute gas. Try Papa John's thin crust and only thin compared to the regular crust and pretty good. I would probably just get I usually order from local places. And oh god, that sounds so pretentious. I like I like uh I like an independent pizza chain. Which is which is a contradiction because you can't have an independent pizza chain. We will take care of this so you can trust our flavored crust once more. Oh boy, Hungry Howie Bot. We have a good time. We have a good time. Oh man. Uh, we're running, I mean, we're running green, white lands for one shalai. Oh, for two shalai, I think. I think we put the second one back. But, I mean, also Lifecrafter's Bestiary in the sideboard, which is a great card. But, I mean, the consequences are super low. Like, it's not like where it's a super big sacrifice to run some green, white lands. Especially when four of them cycle, which is nice, because it just gives you some, some filtering in the late game. Like, there's a place, uh, I live in Clearwater, and there's a place in St. Pete, which is like 25 minutes south of me, twenty probably like 20 minutes south of me, um, which I which is where I was born and raised, I love St. Pete to death, um, there's a place called Little Italy Pizza, and it's like the best pizza I've ever had in my life. I know people say that, they're always like, oh yeah, that's everybody, say. everybody has the best pizza ever, but have yet to find a comparable, I'm just going to cast out this guy. Because we can't really get past a 4-3, which is unfortunate, but accurate. Please forgive us, Bits. Wow. Wow. Uh, no, Gary. Not the one in Dunedin. The one in St. Pete. I just said that. God. Unless you're asking for Hungry Howie's. In which case, uh, no, it was Hungry Howie's on Drew Street. Or Gulf. Yeah, I think it was Drew. There's a little Italy on in Dunedin. Oh, a swamp, eh? A swamp, eh? Oh, mentor of the of the sneak. Uh, you kind of have to block here, right? I'm not going to activate this. I'm just going to actually attack for all these guys. If you don't block, you go to two. Paisanos in Charleston. Which Charleston? North Carolina? Uh, I don't know if I've been to Scar City Brewing in Tampa. I don't think so. South Carolina? Is there a Charleston in both South Carolina and North Carolina, or did I just get my Carolinas confused? St. Louis style is basically he's incorrect. Cheese on purpose. What? Wait, what's the one? I think I saw... Didn't I see a video? I think I saw, like, a First Week Feast video on South Carolina style pizza. Or South, 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 South Carolina. St. Louis style pizza. Um... What's the one where they, like, make it cold? They, like, put cold... They put cold cheese on there. I 
I feel like we get into food conversations a lot in this stream. I haven't seen enough to put any of these cards in here. Maybe Baffling End over Seal Away just to get rid of their early guys without them attacking. He would have a special joke just for you. So Eddie Murphy has to have special jokes for every single person that finishes a pizza. Man, that's a lot of that's a lot of pressure on Eddie Murphy. Uh, sand seems good. Uh, I don't think... See, is he even getting that much work? I don't think Eddie Murphy's not getting work. I'm pretty sure if Eddie Murphy's not working, it's because he doesn't want to. I don't think anyone is turning down Eddie Murphy for roles. Okay, that's too many legendary creatures. I actually, I really like Detroit style because the, like, I actually, the deep dish pizza from Hungry Howie's is Detroit style. Um, it's like a square pizza because you have extra, extra corners. Um, and then you get the really, really well done crust, which is just gas. What? Oh, that is exciting. I'm at a place where you eat pizza with raw dough and Morgan Freeman narrates what the experience must be like for you as you eat it. And then he took another bite of the raw white dough. It did not look appetizing. It actually looked sad. He did not look like he was enjoying his experience. Frank loves mountains. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate uh, the subscription, but not your existence because you're my least favorite land. No offense to you, uh, if offense intended. Burn. Is Detroit style pizza just a mostly empty pie? Wow. Woof. Getting too real. Getting real here. Give me a real dream. In my imagination. Oh, biscuits. This Lyra Dawnbringer is OP. She's going the distance. She is going for speed. And then she died. Then she died. Then she died to that Chupa Cabra. Joke's on you. I got Lyra's for days. And I get this guy. Oh yeah. Mm bow bow. Chick chick Um push Oh put a counter on you. Cause we want to be able to attack this turn. And probably a counter on Lifelink Arena over here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can see attacking with you too. You got vigilance, and uh, if anyone blocks you, they're going they're going down. We got a spare. <laughs> Why was that funny? Why did I laugh at that? I don't know. I did though. This deck's a little inconsistent. <laughs> Happens to the best. Oh, I like what we're doing here, though. That's exciting. I think it's a little too late, but it's exciting nonetheless. That was the distance by cake. And did they say something before we before we got? Oh, they say good game. All good. I'm still working out the cons. Looks like I need sweepers. Good games. Good games. I'll post give you the good games. All right. So Matthew, I think this is actually a better configuration. I know it, it gets rid of some of the knights, but I think Oketra's monument is super strong, and I, you probably just want it in all your white decks. Resplendent Angel, also one of the best white creatures available. Uh, I like more Lyra's because. Again, also one of... It's funny, all these mythics. I guess this is uncommon, though. Mentor of the Meek, fantastic rare for this deck. Like, this is... Okay, they said nice cards, but... <laughs> but munch. Oh, Mentor, Legion's Landing. All the cards, I think, help a lot. They give you a little more... A little more... Width? Width? That's a, that's a weird... That's a weird, uh... That's a weird word to say. And, um... Undrum Tuna, enjoy your unlimited sushi. But yeah, I think you should give this deck a try if you can uh, if you can muster these 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 card changes, and uh, let me know how it goes because I think this deck seems pretty sweet. Um, we didn't have the best, uh, the most thorough competition after the changes, but you know we did go two zero, and you know that's that's kind of a lot of decks you're gonna see at a local level. So that's I think that should be fine. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, if you guys are watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just going to end the YouTube video. So if you guys are watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can find out how to have me critique your own deck. My details should be in my Twitch profile, including email address or uh, just message me on Twitch. And uh, we can talk about that. Uh, and also my Patreon page is there as well, where I release original content pretty much weekly. So if you guys are interested in that, for as little as a dollar a month, you can help me out and get some get some cool car cool, co cool content there as well so yeah thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it i'll see you guys next time and uh i guess that's it